Welcome, everybody. We're just so excited to be sitting in front of you today. And I'm really hoping that when you watch this video, you will see the sincere heart of the two of us and just understand that we have compassion for what we're about to discuss. I'm excited that I get to sit next to a very close friend for many, many years. We've been through a lot of testimonies together and we know that God is going to make this a testimony also. My name is Wendy Lovejoy. I am the founder of Durban's Daughters and I'm sitting with Pastor Boyer and Poetry, founder of Women Purpose Ministry. And we've come together to do something that's been laid on our hearts for a minute. A vision that's been worked on for now maybe 12 years and closer and closer to the birth of something amazing. But it is hope for tomorrow, giving deportees another chance to life. Pastor Bola, can you share with the audience why you felt that this is something great? Um, to take place at this time? I have a heart for people that we can call the underserved, mm. people that no one cares about, people who have lost hope. And um, I just believe that it, it is a season of hope mm -hmm. for people who have found themselves in a hopeless situation. And um, I believe God who actually told me this year is a year of um, accelerated blessings. Oh, man. That he will touch um, men and women who have been forgotten. Mm. And uh, God will remember them. He is the one who remembered Hannah when she was born. Mm. And a woman who had been told she wouldn't have any babies, God remembered her and he wrote her destiny and I believe that destiny is to be written uh, during um, our trip to Jamaica. Amen, amen. And that's so on time that you would say something like that. And a scripture that comes to my mind, and you know because I've shared this often, I, I feel like um, there's so many people in Jamaica, like the woman with the issue of blood, who have tried so much on their own. They've really tried to kind of cure whatever their issue is. And they've reached out to people that they thought could help them. Do you remember she spent a lot of money going to doctors? And I can think of parents who have children who are deported in Jamaica and they've reached out with money or they've reached out to people that they thought they could count on only to find that their sons or their children that have been deported to Jamaica are not being handled the way they should be. And um, there's husbands, there's brothers, yes. there's sons, there's fathers, mm -hmm. grandfathers yes. in Jamaica. And um, they're trying everything they know to do. And they've lost all hope. And one thing with this woman with the issue of blood is she tried everything they told her to do mm. with their understanding. And when she finally decided that she had to reach out to God. She had to go and just get to the hem of Jesus. And that always means to me that we don't need a lot of scripture, but we need people like you and myself and Bishop Jacqueline who have the heart, the true compassion, the true desire to see people change and just do what God has instructed us to do. And that is to treat people as we would want to be treated, to show love. And I think that's what they're going to get out of this. So this woman, all she did was one little thing. Touch. There you go. Touch. And I believe you and I are going to touch a lot of Jamaicans um, and take this situation and really solve it. Because if we don't do anything about the deportees, as Bishop Jacqueline said on a video she just did, the situation's going to get worse. Mm -hmm because they've lost hope. And um, what is God saying to you? What is your heart saying to you?